Hello there, and welcome to Sports Week. I'm Mark Betts, and coming off of today's show, high five for Winchester City. Yeah! FC Totten plays short with United in a battle for the playoffs. Even more success for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter Trevor Birmingham. It's a, it's a dream come true, and I'm really pleased to have gone as far as I could. So it's great. And the University of Winchester men's cricket team end to hit Parkinson's for six. <laughs> At the end of the day, we, we won't get put through half the misery or sadness that the people with Parkinson's will have, so we don't really mind doing it. Winchester City put five plus fallen sports last night as they look to consolidate a third place in the Wessex Premier League. It's the second time in a week they've scored five, and Warren Bentley once again bagged a brace. Rodri Cannon was at the Denplan City ground. Winchester City were looking to continue their good run of form against Fallen Sports, and in an uneventful first half, they took the lead from Jeff Dunn. Yeah! Folland hit back early in the second half, Winchester failed to clear a set piece and Callum Brockway finished neatly. Winchester replied swiftly, Chris Mason's ball into the box was met by the free scoring Warren Bentley who made no mistake. But the citizens were immediately pegged back. Ryan Long latched onto a long ball, kept his composure and levelled the score. The flurry of goals was far from over as Zach Glasspool headed in to give Winchester the lead. Glasspool then added his second and Winchester's fourth as the fallen defence crumbled. As the game drew to a close, Winchester were awarded a penalty for Matt Burt's challenge on Dominic Cope. Bentley stepped up to score and sealed three crucial points for Paul Masters men. Rodri Cannon, Winchester News Online. AFC Totten slipped to a 2-0 defeat at home to Shortwood United on Saturday, meaning they missed out on the chance to go into the playoff places. Totten manager Steve Riley made no excuses for his team's slack defending, with the visitors punishing the Stags with two first-half goals. Isaac Edwards has more. Both Shortwood and Totten went into this Valentine's Day clash level on points, but there was no love shown towards the home side early on. With just 13 minutes on the clock, a floated ball from the left was met by Marley Thomas. His first touch was excellent, his second, clinical. 1-0 Shortwood, Thomas is sixth of the season. Things went from bad to worse for Totten, as just two minutes from the interval, defender Jamie Blackburn provided Shortwood with a Valentine's Day gift of his own. His attempted back pass was cut out. Shortwood's Lewis Summers went one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and made no mistake. An emphatic finish. Summers' tenth of the season ensuring the visitors entered the break two goals up. The second half saw improvement from Totten, but they simply failed to make their opportunities count. Steve Riley talked of his disappointment at his team's overall performance. I think we gifted them both goals. Uh, I thought we would only seem likely to score second half. Had a lot of possession today, had some good performances today, so yeah, we're a bit disappointed as a, as a group. Final third, I think we lacked that quality cross or pass or you know anything just to get a goal. I think we lacked that in the, in the final third. Um, always there's loads, loads of games left, you know. I think uh, the next four games are going to be tough. Uh, see see where we are after the four games, and I think that might define us as a as a club and where we are really. Following Saturday, Totten's winless streak now extends to three games. And with a difficult fixture against second place Taunton up next, Totten need a reaction to keep their playoff hopes alive. Isaac Edwards, Winchester News Online. Winner returns to Southampton based Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fighter Trevor Birmingham, who has climbed up to third in the official world rankings. Birmingham is now third in the Brown Belt Master 3 Featherweight division. It completes a remarkable couple of months for the 41 year old, who has recently won a Naga World Championship belt and a gold medal in the European Open Championships. Afsal Zumra went to meet him. Trevor Birmingham has been grappling with success as he moved up the world rankings to number three this week. Having won a Naga World Championship and won European gold, Birmingham has certainly been enjoying himself over the last few months. 
it feels really good. I, I didn't realise until the other day until I actually looked in the rankings and um and when I actually saw the rankings, I thought, oh, this is good. I I got to start pushing it now and doing a few more ranking events and hopefully, yeah, get to number one. It's a it's a dream come true. I'm really pleased to have gone as far as I could. So it's great. His success is even more remarkable considering his recent history in the sport. I took the sport up about four years ago and this is not something really that I thought I'd get to the hope, you know, think about getting to the top at. It's just saying how to go because I really enjoyed it and I'm not just because of my judo, it's kind of pushed me forward. But I'd like to think I could actually get to number one. That's the plan. It's clear to see that Trevor is a big star in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Whether he can become number one and take the very best back down to earth remains to be seen. Absolute summer, Winchester News yeah. Online, Southampton. <laughs> and finally, the University of Winchester men's cricket team has raised over £1,000 for Parkinson's UK by riding 10 kilometres in full cricket gear. The team completed the challenge on Sunday after spending the past week collecting donations around campus. Ross Perkins has the story. It's not every day you see a strong mob of cricketers running through Winchester, but that's what happened on Sunday afternoon. The University of Winchester's men's cricket team ran 10 kilometres to raise money for Parkinson's UK, a charity which is close to several of the players' hearts. Some wanted to give themselves an even tougher challenge, which in hindsight probably wasn't so wise. With their target of £1,000 well exceeded, the gruelling run proved fruitful in the end. Nathan Young, who helped organise the event, was bowled over by the support of his team. I'm very proud of the cricket team for getting involved because they don't have to do this. They're doing this completely voluntary. There's no payment at all. They're purely doing this because they want to make a difference to the community and raise money for this charity and purely to help their mates out, really, because some of them have no link at all. They're just doing it because their friends need their help. We want to be seen as an active member of the community and doing our bit because while we're here at university, obviously we're getting a degree, but we have a lot of spare time and we can be making a positive impact with the local community and raising money for great courses like this. Nathan's sentiments were echoed by his teammates. I'd go as far as to say it's exceptional that all of us go out today to do it. It's all about finding a cure and changing attitudes. I think it's really important actually that we've all turned up and actually really pleased we've got such a big turnout. It makes a massive difference. We've been going around all week saying how we feel that we're going to be all in this run and everyone wants to come down and, and do it, so it's great. At the end of the day, we, we won't get put through half the misery or sadness that the people with Parkinson's will have, so we don't really mind doing it. With well over £1,000 raised for Parkinson's UK, the University of Winchester's men's cricket team has certainly gone the extra mile, the extra 6.21 miles to be exact. Ross Perkins, Winchester News Online. And that's all from Sports Week, but for more award-winning news, features and sport, head over to winnell.co.uk. Goodbye.